Do you need a concrete foundation for your metal garage but you don't know how to make it? In this video, we will show you how to pour a concrete slab step by step from planning and preparation to pouring and finishing. By following our guide, you can ensure your slab will be solid and durable for years to come. Let's go! To pour our concrete slab, your first task is to check local regulations. Depending on where you live, there may be specific requirements for the size, thickness, and design of your slab. If you are building a foundation or live in an area prone to frost, you may need to include a footer at the edges of your slab. Call your local Building Code Enforcement Department to find out if there are any requirements for your area. Step 2. Safety Precautions Wet concrete can be hazardous to your skin. It can cause mild irritation or even severe burns. Always wear safety gear, including waterproof gloves, safety goggles, and tall rubber boots. Use waterproof kneeler boards when kneeling on wet concrete. If your skin touches wet concrete, wash it off with clean water and replace wet clothing and safety gear. Step 3. Stake and outline your slab location. Use a tape measure and yellow striping spray paint to create a rough outline of where your slab will sit. Drive stakes into each corner of where your structure will be and make sure your outline is properly squared. Now, the hard part begins. You should excavate the site digging 6 to 8 inches beneath the soil. Lay a gravel sub-base, wet the gravel, and pack it down with a hand tamper or plate compactor. Step 4. Prepare your form and strengthen the slab with rebar. Before you pour the concrete, you will need to create a wooden perimeter, or form. For this, use 2x4s or 2x6s. Secure the form with stakes and make sure it is level. Use 1 half inch rebar to strengthen the structural integrity of your slab. Cut the rebar to an appropriate length with a reciprocating saw or similar tool. Then place rebar rods inside the length of your form, spaced about 12 to 18 inches apart. Step 5. Mix and pour the concrete and finish the surface. Wait for a time when temperatures will be above 50 degrees for a week before pouring your slab. If you are unsure of what type of concrete you should use, call a local concrete delivery company and ask for recommendations on the best mix for your project. Whenever you're ready, use helpers to spread the concrete across your form with shovels and rakes. With a piece of scrap lumber, you can screed the top of your wet concrete, then use a bull float to smooth the surface of the concrete and to remove high and low spots. Finally, if you're pouring a slab for a patio, sweep across the surface of your slab with a push broom to create a texture with traction. Wait 24 hours, then pry out your stakes with pliers and remove your wooden forms. But you're not finished yet. You should wait about 10 days before placing furniture or anything else that is heavy on the surface. By following these steps, you can pour a concrete slab for a new garage that will be solid, durable, and long-lasting. Remember that prioritizing safety and checking local regulations is essential. Pouring concrete is just one required step in building your new metal garage. We've put together this video that covers every single thing that you need to know and do when you're installing a new metal garage. Make sure that you don't miss out any important steps by watching that video next. We'll see you there.